today the is subclass built-in function in Python 3. Let's start with a look at the docs. The is subclass function takes two arguments, the class that you're checking and class info, and it'll return a boolean of true or false uh, if the class is a subclass. Couple things to note, uh, a class is considered a subclass of itself, and the class info can be a tuple. And I'll show you what that looks like a little later on. So I created a little multi-inheritance example here. First we start with our car class, then we have a Bugatti, which is a subclass of car, and then a Bugatti Veyron, which is a subclass of Bugatti. And the first thing I wanted to check is if Bugatti is a subclass of car. So we can run that and see that Bugatti is a subclass of car. And before I move on to these other commented examples, I want to show you what it looks like to have a tuple of arguments here. So we can add any types, we can add int, string, whatever. And when we run this, we're going to get true because car is in our list or in our tuple of arguments. However, if I remove car, that's going to return false because we no longer have that car in here. So as long as one of the classes or types is true, then you're good to go. Add the car back. That's true. That's all good. The uh, second thing I want to show you is the multi-level inheritance. And so we're looking at our Bugatti Veyron, which is kind of the grandchild, I guess you could say, of the car. And when we run that, that will return true. Comment this out to make it clear. So when we run that, that's going to be true. It'll, it'll trickle down as many layers as you like. And then the last thing I want to show you guys is that a car is a subclass of itself. So we're checking that a car is a subclass of car, and that's going to return true. And again, we could do that tuple thing, right? We could do car, int, uh, dict, whatever. Save that and that's still going to return true. So in conclusion, a car is a subclass of itself, and is subclass will work with multi-levels of inheritance, and you can do this tuple argument to kind of capture the class that you're looking for in a tuple of classes or values.